We love Nicolas Cage because he is the most unusual actor of his generation. So unusual that he bought a haunted mansion that is surely way out of our imagination. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. For this video we will discover Nicolas Cage's 3.5 million dollar haunted mansion. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. We wish more actors did interesting things like steep over at Dracula's castle, bed alligators, order deadly snakes for relaxing purposes, gather dinosaur skulls, and be personally bailed out of jail by Dog the Bounty Hunter. Well, Nicholas grants our wish. Nicholas Cage paid $3.5 million for the home of a serial killer, assuming it would make a terrific literary setting. I once lived in the most haunted house in America, the La Laurie Mansion in New Orleans, used to belong to Madame La Laurie, a well-known 19th century socialite and serial killer. I bought it in 2007, figuring it would be a good place in which to write the great American horror novel. I didn't get too far with the novel. There's a good chance you've heard of La Laurie Mansion if you've read anything about ghosts and hauntings in New Orleans. On New Orleans ghost tours, it is one of the most popular stops. People in the city sometimes refer to 1140 Royal Street as the haunted house instead. In New Orleans, the two are the same. Shows like American Horror Story have just added to the fame of a location that was already well known. The majority of the filming took place at the Herman Grimme House on St. Louis Street, which is perhaps for the best, given that La Laurie Mansion is said to be cursed. There have been claims of paranormal activity originating from this house for about 200 years. Many hauntings are ascribed to the slaves maintained on the plantation by Madame La Laurie, which should come as no surprise. The La Laurie Mansion has a room where slaves were frequently confined and accounts of moaning from that area are prevalent. Phantom footsteps reverberate around the house on a regular basis. Many persons who have stood near the house have said they felt possessed by malevolent energies. Even now, the La Laurie Mansion is rumoured to be haunted. Despite all the ghost stories and strange occurrences at the La Laurie house, it would be a mistake to attribute them all to Madame La Laurie's maltreatment of slaves. A resident of La Laurie Mansion, which has since been turned into apartments, was brutally killed in his room in 1894. They discovered his stuff had been rummaged through, as if someone had gone through them. Despite the fact that nothing of value was stolen, the authorities concluded he was the victim of a robbery. The police asking neighbours about his disappearance is a fascinating description of this crime. One of his acquaintances reported that sprites were causing trouble in his home. His friend dismissed it as his imagination running wild. He did, however, remark something fascinating. He stated that a buddy warned him there was a demon in the house that wouldn't rest until he was exercised. This is exactly what the man did in this residence. Is it possible that at least some of the paranormal activity is the result of this heinous murder? It's certainly feasible. Nobody will know for sure until this area is investigated by a real paranormal investigative team. Only then can we hope to learn the truth about the ghosts at the Laurie Mansion by talking with the dead who still live here. During the mid to late 19th century, the Laurie Mansion served as a school for all females for a brief period. It had been one of the few mixed schools in New Orleans at the time, but politics during the Reconstruction era were complicated, and the school at 1140 Royal Street was soon changed to an all-girls African-American elementary school. Reports of physical assault surfaced in a short period of time. We know that little ladies would approach their teachers with their sleeves rolled up, tears streaming down their faces, their forearms exposed flesh was scraped and damaged. Who did this to you? The teachers would demand. The answer was always one and the same, that woman. However, these young ladies were presumably unaware of Madame Delphine and the horrible event that occurred decades before. Furthermore, it was unlikely that teachers would tell six, seven or eight year olds about the famine and inhumane treatment of slaves decades ago. One has to question if the young ladies were playing practical jokes on each other or if their tales of being scared by a phantom woman were accurate. There are no memoirs from this time period, only a few anecdotes. Was it Madame Delphine Lalaurie's soul that caused the scratches? Or was it something else entirely? What are your thoughts? Would you consider purchasing a haunted mansion like this? Let us know in the comment section below. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. 
Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.